Hey chaps, so today I'm going to show you how I go about painting white horses. So my base colour is going to be Vallejo Sky Grey. Um, and as you can see, I still haven't got any grey undercoat, so I'm having to use bone still, which is a shame because I would have used grey as my base coat. So we're just going to paint all of these, including the manes. Uh, and as before, we don't have to be too precious at this stage. We just want to get a nice even coat of this sky grey all over everyone. So I'm going to crack on and do that. Uh, then I'll paint all the reins and things in. And then we'll get back to the body of the horse once it's had a wash. So, for me, it's been quite a while, but for you... Here we go. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over this with the original sky grey. And I'm going to do the tails and the hair with the dry brush. Like so. Obviously both sides. And I've got a couple of other variations as well. So when you dry brush the hair, try not to get it all over the reins and stuff because I already painted them. So I'm going to do one of them in bone and one of them with slightly darker grey just to give some more variety to your horses. And then on the actual body of the horse itself, what we're going to do is we're going to go over all these grey areas and just leave it a little bit the original grey showing <laughs> try and get be as neat as you can around here and we're going to leave some of the darker areas just for a bit of contrast <laughs> and so obviously on the legs you're just concentrating on trying to get all the muscle groups just leaving them dark lines, like so. Lots of fur on there. So basically, all over the whole model, leaving little dark bits, but trying to cover as much as can with the original sky grey. Okay, so now I'm going to put on the final colour for me, anyway. Um, I use Vallejo Off White. I very rarely use pure white as I find off white gets you much better coverage uh, if you wanted to transition that grey a little bit more I'd suggest using Games Workshop Alcuin grey it's a nice contrast colour between the two so first things first just dry brush all the hair oh I've got far too much paint on there So we're just going to dry brush the hair white. Just a little subtle dry brush on this one. Again, try not to get it all over the stuff that you've already painted, because that is annoying. Okay, that'll do. And then the last thing to do is to go back over all these areas again. I'm just leaving a little bit of the original, uh, the grey you've just put on showing through. Just make sure you thin your paint, so I'm not sure this is thin enough. And then just paint in all of those areas. And with the white, you might have to do two coats, which is not my favorite thing in the world. But yeah, we're just concentrating on all these areas. That's better this time. And just leave a little bit of the original gray showing. So we're gonna go over and do the entire horse, all of them. Uh, there is one more thing to do because I've already painted the eyes black 
So we're just going to go in and put a little dot in each eye. Just so that. How do? So that's it. So with all the white done, there is one last thing I like to do when I'm painting white horses. And that is just around the muzzle, I like to do a bit of flesh. Oh, got far too much paint on there. So we're just gonna put some flesh around here. Like that. And on the bottom lip. Like that. And then I'll do all of them and I'll give that a highlight. Incidentally, for the flesh, I used Fresh Base. And for the highlight, I'm going to use Flat Flesh for Leo. Uh, we're just going to put a tiny little highlight on these. So just on the edges. And again, don't get it straight. Just do little up and down motions. Just give it a little bit of highlight. And with that, that's everything done. So I've put these riders on, they're glued on yet, but just to give you a bit of an impression of what the actual finished article will look like once I've got all these riders glued on and decide which horse and which riders are going together. So you get a few different varieties of horse by just doing different manes and tails, just gives you a bit of variety. Just mix it up a bit so everything won't look too samey. Uh, and also while I was doing that, I, I uh, painted up the black horses as well and then put all the markings on. So if anyone wants to know how to paint black horses, there's already a tutorial out there for that, how I speed paint black horses. Um, so I hope this has helped some people. So I'm not a professional painter or anything. This is just a, a guide as to how I go about doing these things. Um, if you think the contrast between the white and the gray is a bit much, as I say, you could use old one gray. Uh, but I decided long ago, reminds me of a song, uh, that life was too short. Uh, so I just skipped the old one gray now. So we'll see what these all look like when I finally get them all together. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Next tutorial will be dark gray. Would I'm going to do dappled effects on them, I think. So we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.